Over the past few videos, I've been talking about different heresies and the responses to those heresies by good theologians and by councils. Here's a question. Why is it all important? And to answer that, I'll make a couple of comments about the significance of the issues as I see it. And my perspective was very much formed by the scripture scholar Raymond Brown and I'm indebted to his perspective. In his seminal work, Jesus, God and Man, Raymond Brown says this, In the 4th and 5th centuries, the question of Jesus as God and Man was not an abstract question debated in the scholars' chambers. It was a question of what God and Christianity were all about. I submit that if we take the trouble to understand it remains all of that even in the 20th century. So let's look at a couple of points about the significance of Jesus being true God. Because Jesus is God, he is, as Vatican II teaches, the definitive and complete revelation of God. When Jesus teaches us about God, he is not telling us a second-hand story of God, but he tells us, by his words, by his action, by his very being, he tells us what God is like. To know what God is like, who or what do we look to? We look to Jesus. And this is the point that Jesus made when he replied to Philip in John's Gospel. Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. In addition, if Jesus is God, we can have a grasp of the, the manner and the magnitude of the love that God has for us. In Jesus, we know that God has loved us so much that he has given us himself. He's come, he's incarnate, he suffered and died for us. If Jesus was not God, then his whole mission of salvation would have been only the work of a messenger, which would not have cost God anything in a personal way. In other words, the divinity of Jesus, his incarnation, God coming am among us, meant that the, the work of Jesus was not the work of a prophet or a messenger, but the work of God himself. And also because Jesus is God, his teaching and the example of his life takes on divine authority. In other words, to acknowledge the truth of the words of Jesus is to acknowledge the truth of God. Having said that, Jesus being truly human is also of great significance. Because he's human, Jesus has revealed God to us in human terms that we can at least partly understand. The reality is that God is utter mystery and there's no way that the human mind can fully understand the essence of God. However, by taking on our humanity, Jesus has been able to communicate God to us in a human way so that we can see humanly and understand humanly the good news of God. Also, because Jesus is truly human, we can look to him as the perfect example of the life we're called to live as followers of Jesus. If he was only God, it, but not human, then the life that Jesus led would be utterly beyond our reach. But because he led a genuinely human life, we too can live as he did, with the grace of God, of course. Lastly, by taking up our humanity, Jesus has raised up the dignity of every human person. The reality is that God the Father cannot help but utterly love his Son. And in loving his Son, he loves all of those his Son is joined to. So because we are also one nature with Jesus Christ in our humanity, God the Father is completely and absolutely bound to loving us. So this has been quite a journey through the, the various councils and the heresies. And I hope that now we'll appreciate that 
They're important not just as church teaching, not just as theology that we have to learn, but these issues as to the divinity and humanity of Christ go to the very nature of what we believe, what we practice as followers of Jesus. Thank you for watching.